welcome back to my youtube channel so in this tutorial we are making a keylogger using python so what is actually keylogger so keylogger is a function which record or key stroke on a computer in the other hand of the hacker or a cyber criminal a keylogger is a potent tool to steal away your information so it can be your bank account username and password it can be your facebook username and password and also your gmail so let's have a look how actually the hacker can hack your username and the password. So this is a program. I'm going to run it. If I type here something like say hi there, and see you can see here a log file. Yep, log.txt. So it is actual file. It is generated automatically, and inside this log.txt file, you can see here. Okay, uh, hi there and the key enter. So it is actually the key logger. Okay, if I type, uh, click on here and type something, let's say username the password, uh, let's say username dot username. Okay, and let's say chando 012 uh, and let's say password and let's say 123456. Yep, enter again. Okay. So inside this log file, you can see here key enter username key shift dot chando zero one two key enter and the password key backspace key backspace rd key shift dot one two three four five six. So this is the password and this one of the user. So this is actually a hacker can easily grab your password using this key logger. So in this tutorial, we are going to make this one. So let's jump on the code. So I remove all the things and also delete this log.txt file. Yep. So first thing first, you need to install Python in your local machine. So after installing it, if you uh, you need to install a library called PyInput. If you don't install it Python in your local machine, I need to make a videos. How can you install Python in Windows 10? And now let's have a look. How can we install this PyInput library? So first what you need to do, you need to open your terminal, cmd, windows and the r sign and you have to type here pip install and the library name. So in install and the library name is pyinput, p-y-n-p-e-u-t, pyinput and hit enter. So this library is automatically uh, installed uh, in your local nation. Okay. So now I am not going to install it because I installed it already. Okay. So I am going to click it to close. Okay. So now we need to import the library from here. So from pynputkeyboard. So I'm going to import I'm going to import key and the listener. Listener. Yep. So we need two functions, or you can say two methods. So first one the method for the pass and then another method for the release. Okay. Sorry for the bad sound. Okay. Uh, so what you need to do, we need to create two functions. So def so press and the key and inside this key you have to put here a log file okay log file you can see automatically generated or uh, generated so i'm going to terminate this program otherwise it will automatically uh, generate the, all the files okay i'm going to click it and delete it again move to the recycle bin okay okay so now we need to create the log doc txt file so what I do, actually the con uh, condition of that the condition is that if this file is already exist we don't need to create it but if this file is not exist in this folder so we need to create it so we open the file name so log.txt and a so that's when it will automatically create this log.txt file if it doesn't exist inside this folder so as we're going to put here f and i'm going to write the key as a string format okay so key and uh, <coughs> we need to also terminate this program okay so that's why i have to create another function for quit or you can say release uh, release so inside this release you have to put here the key then let's say if string key equal equal key dot esc so if anyone press esc from this keyboard from this keyboard so this uh, program is already a breakdown so exit zero and now we're going to uh, 
join it with our listener 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 and inside this listener it stops some argument so first one is the on uh, press and another one is the on listener okay or you can say on release okay press and the another one is the on release release and on release equal on release not on release actually sorry release this is a function as a variable name let's say listener and i am going to uh, join it list listener dot join okay so now i am going to run this code okay so first i have to save this one save or you can also use uh, control s okay i'm not going to do it file as save okay it's saved right now so i am going to do go the folder directory or you can run it from here i am going to go uh, go here i think my folder directory is already open yep so i am going to copy not going to copy this cause my fi uh, file is right now keylogger keylogger dot py uh, yep run it so it is running okay so I'm going to uh, type something. Hi, hello, Chandu, my name. Yep. So I'm going to terminate this program and ESC the keyboard. So it's uh, it's going to terminate. So let's check on the log file. Yep. You can see here. Hi, H I key space. Hi, E L L O key space in a character way. Okay in a character is so now we need to combine this character that's mean if anyone press space we don't put here anything else but if anyone has something called some letter like say hello or how are you or the username and the password so sorry for the bad sound okay actually i am the this is the road and uh, some kind of structure here okay no problem that's it so what we need to do we need to join all the character up until this land is greater than one Okay, so now we need to uh, create these uh, conditions. Okay, so we are storing the key stroke in a uh, in a key stroke variable. So I am going to initialize this. So key stroke, key stroke equal str, and inside this str you have to put in the key, and I am going to replace the character into the null character, null value, or you can say uh, blank space. Okay, so inside this string I am going to replace it with blank space. Yep. So now this uh, actually the, the character is joining each other after until it will get the length of the length is greater than one. Okay, now we need to do the condition here. So if I if we get space bar, so we are going to we are going to uh, make it as a space bar. So key is equal to not like this one. You can see a key space. So I'm going to ignore it here. So if anyone has let's say key dot space, so uh, this should be actually the space like this one. As PH space like this one, so it will uh, give us the just for space. Okay, so f dot write write. If you if you have any confusion, you can comment below. Okay, and I can let you know. Okay, so key is true. Uh, equal equal. So not equal. So if the length of the key is true is greater than one, so we're going to join this. Okay, that's mean hi, hello, and the username, the password. So the length of must be the um greater than one so i'm going to uh, calculate the length of the key stroke so land of the key stroke and if the length of the key stroke is greater than one so i'm going to write so f dot write with a black space bank and and the key stroke so it's some um, styling okay you can also use format okay no problem so this one and black space yep and also i'm oh, sorry for that and also uh, if anyone else something else just we are going to do it that's mean if anyone press some key like only for q only for let's say any press like say caps lock or shift or the control or dold or f1 f10 so this will automatically write down yep okay so at the right we just put here the uh, key stroke okay so key stroke key stroke so let's zoom it a little bit. I think it will be C. Let's remove this one. Okay. So this is the code. So now I am going to run this. Okay. I think it's right now. Okay. 
so I'm going to run that yep again Python I'm going to copy this Ctrl C and Ctrl V and run that okay okay I think we have to terminate this program again and need to delete the log file okay I'm going to copy this again copy and I'm going to click and delete this recycle bin yep right now and again yep so code is running it right now I'm going to write something else let's say please do subscribe my channel yep enter again so inside this log file you can see here key enter please key dot space l dot o dot key space and the key space spin okay I think it's not replaces so we have to check it okay is there any mistake or not so they replace with the blank space CRT and now you're going to replace it key stroke uh key stroke uh space bar and key stroke length of the key stroke is greater than one at the right I think um at the right release and key on release at key strainer listener okay we need to run this code again okay let's go into terminate this code again i think okay okay i got it actually i am forget to save it okay save 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 yep yes and run again yep not this one python a logger sorry for that actually i am forget to run my code okay uh, please do subscribe subscribe hmm, my channel yep enter and see this in the log file again the problem yep you can see here on and the best key e dot vegas key is by my channel okay so this is the previous output i'm going to again click it to uh, delete it right now delete it recycle bin now hi there yep enter and log file is generated yep so you can see here hi there key backspace key backspace key backspace key backspace key early key enter okay so this is the tutorial hope you will enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never missing an update thank you and bye bye